Many of you at home have probably heard of the disease Alzheimer's. It's one for which there is no cure and there really is no treatment. And um, as, mo as more of us are aging, it is going to become a disease we hear more about. Well, joining me now are two individuals who are hoping to do something to find that cure and that treatment and help families who are dealing with Alzheimer's. And joining me now is Heidi Pence and Daniel Lee. And both are going to be talking about um, a series of walks coming up in the Lima area. We want to welcome you to the show. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Thank you. So Heidi, you are with um, the Alzheimer's Association yes. of Northwest Ohio. Um, for many, many years now, you have do been doing work in our community to yes. um, raise awareness, number one, and then also, oh, we keep holding our breath, hoping and praying that we find a, a cure. Yes. Um, tell me about what your organization does, though, specifically. We do a lot of support groups and different programs within our counties to really support the families and the individuals who have Alzheimer's. And then there's also the big push toward the walks and trying to raise awareness for those and raise money to go toward ending the disease. And is this a disease that we are seeing any progress um, for at this point? And are, are we seeing numbers decline or is the news not so good? We, there's a lot of research going on for first of all, but yes, definitely there's almost five and a half million people that have Alzheimer's at this point, and by 2050, that's gonna go up to 16 million. So it's really progressive, and it is something that we need to work on right now to put an end toward to that now so that we don't have to worry about it in our future. Well, Daniel Lee joins us as well, and Daniel, you are the Community Marketing Coordinator. Um, I know that you wear a number of different hats in our, in our community, um, but why did you get involved? Well, um, we really uh, believe in the Alzheimer's Association and the work that they're doing to um, get dollars to our researchers so that we can prevent this, um, this deadly disease, this debilitating disease. Um, with HCF, um, our facilities are um, inundated with individuals that have some form of dementia or Alzheimer's. One in three seniors that pass away die with some form of dementia or Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. Well, in nursing homes, we have a lot of older people, yeah. so that's something we deal with on a daily basis, and, and our staff really has a, a passion to try to help this um, go away. Yeah. And so um, HCF has kind of given me a, a, a leeway to join the Alzheimer's yes. board, mm -hmm. um, which I did. And so I'm representing the board today um, to try to get the word out to say, hey, if, if you've had a loved one touched with this, if you know someone, um, you can help by coming to one of our walks um, and, and giving a little financial um, donation to the research that uh, we believe will, will stop this um, disease. Right. So um, we're excited to be here. Uh, we, we wanna see this go away. Well, Heidi and I um, have worked at the Area Agency on Aging together and, and our organization has a team that has walked yes. um, for several years now. And um, I know that there are a lot of groups that like to do something like that because it makes us feel like we can contribute. Absolutely. And um, so what is the process right now? And really, when is the first walk that we need to be getting <laughs> organized for? There's actually 11 walks in our Northwest Ohio chapter. I handle five of them, which are in this immediate area. The very first one is August 20th, and that's the Grand Lake Walk. It is down in Salina at the Lakeshore Park, mm -hmm. and that starts at three o'clock in the evening, or in the afternoon. And so that's the very first one. It's brand new this year, yeah. and we're really excited about it and Me getting too. it down into that area. And then the next one that I have is August 27th in Defiance at the Kingsbury Park, and it starts at 9.30 in the morning. And then we jump, we take, we take a weekend off for Labor Day, and we <laughs> jump to the Lima Walk, which is the September 10th. Okay. Again, it starts at 9.30. It's out of OSU campus. And then I have the Finley Walk on September 17th and the Tiffin Walk on September 24th, and those both start at 9.30 as well at the universities in those towns. And so we're really excited to really get moving here. For Lima in particular, whichever one you're interested in, you can go to a alz.org. Am I saying it right? Yeah. You just said it, alz.org. Yep. No, 
you can go to that website, but there's also slash um, ACT. A I'm going to mess it up. But we'll have it on the screen okay, though, thank for you. you. Yes, you can go specifically to that walk page and register for that. Your team, get your team members registered. That's important, so you don't have to worry about doing it that day. Okay. And we want to really boost those numbers up and get it done. Do you have to donate in order to walk? No. Okay. No. And you don't have to walk to donate. <laughs> There you go. That, that is something, though, because right. September yes. is a very busy month. Right. Um, a lot of uh, events going on in the weekends. So right. I'm sure that there will be someone out there that will say, but I want to help. Well, and actually, when you register on that website, there's an option that says, I won't be there, but I want to help, and I want to help raise money. Okay. So that's an option. You only need one person to have a team. But obviously, the more you get, the more fun you can have with it, and more money you can raise. And... Uh, there's no registration fee, so that's an important thing. Okay, and it's it's really an enriching opportunity yes. and experience. You will see uh, folks out there who have family members who mm -hmm. have um, suffered, but also you will see some of the survivors yes. as well who are dealing right. with it right. present day. Yeah. So, um, well, Daniel and, and Heidi, we're out of time, but I want to thank you very much for your efforts, and um, I sure hope that we don't see you next year and we can pretend <laughs> this is... A thing you of the know, past. A thing yes. of the past. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. very good. Thanks for joining us. Thank nice you. Dancing. All right. Back to you.